Shotgun Shug, come on in, come on in, take this seat, because we got to speak. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You are going down a road right now after this battle with BDOT that's a unwinnable. You're doing an unwinnable situation. I see you trying to go back and forth with fans, all right? See, regardless of whether a person, a single individual feels like you won a battle yesterday, you won in general. You did what you were supposed to do. I see you said um, that you won the fan vote, which is dope for you. Um, and there's some people that have you winning, artists that have you winning, you know what I'm saying? And there's certain, I'm sure there's gonna be bloggers that have you winning. Um, I had to battle in the closest of margins going the opposite way, but this is the reason for this blog. You are not getting clowned today. People are not saying, y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoke. Where's the L? You got body. You were supposed to get body. You were supposed to die. You were supposed to lose. You were supposed to get 30. Battling beat out on the West Coast. But what you did is you rapped, my nigga. No theatrics. No pocket taps. No, I let it blame on you. We in LA, I got the spirit of Shaquille, I should slam on you. None of that stupid shit. It ain't stupid, but no, 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 no extra moves. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, none of that. I'm clapping it too. I want the money from the Americans and the Africans too. Like, you ain't do none of that. You ain't do that. You battled and you used straight up rhymes. What he said, what he said, what he said, something about uh, you thought Talking to me about my priorities will be the X factor. When you start rapping like that, Shug, when you start rapping like that, I know you watching this. I know you gonna watch this, cause who's not? Huh? When you start rapping like that? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the hospital clothes is what the tribal wear, like the bedpan African. You don't be rapping like that. You know, you ask for pens. You got pens, and then sometimes during these pens you didn't deliver, you know? I was sick to my stomach when they let a pen decide us. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you had me like that. But now, with the shit that you did yesterday, what he said, what he said? You thought checking me on my priorities was gonna be the X Factor, but I got shit in place. Yeah, that's it right there, I like that. The X Factor, but I got shit in place. Somebody should've told you, be easy, cause Suge ain't safe. I'm clapping him. Be he easy, going to the hospital. be easy, cause Suge ain't safe? Like, you rapping like, we don't know you for that. Cause he ran, I ran after him. He gonna have to shit where he sleep. He gonna be a bedpan African. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Like, that's all you have to do. See, this is battle rap, right? And in battle rap, we expect bars. Like, when you're on big stages, sometimes to add to those performances with the electricity shit, it's cool. But you was going down a new nigga lane, too. You was battling all these new cats. You got to a point where you battled Jack Boy. You had a battle with Nun Nun. Like... You should battle Danny Myers. You should battle some new, some, some, some. I'm not saying that we the biggest names on the biggest stages, but you should get upgraded levels of competition if you're gonna be rapping like this. It shows, I could tell that you took some time. See, the thing is about Shotgun Shook, right? In some of his battles, especially against the newer guys like Big Hand and all these guys, he raps the first thing that comes to his mind. I don't think that he, that he rewrites anything. I just think the first thing that comes to his mind while he's writing for you that week is what he's gonna say. Versus B Dot, I could tell that you rewrote or you rethought or you put some effort and some time into what you was rapping about. I can tell by the level of penmanship. I'm talking about shotgun shook, right? Writing with a pen. <laughs> 2021 is some different shit. I'm talking about shotgun. <laughs> I'm talking about the pen that Shotgun Shook was writing with in 2021. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, and the thing is, bro, we watched so many of these battles, you know. And I and I seen when I first made the blog about you versus B dot, whatever I said, don't even matter what I said. Um, you took that blog and you put it up and said, We're gonna speak. Like you you wanted to see what my reaction was gonna be, and this is my reaction. I'm asking you when you start rapping like that. I got confidence in you. I know what you can do, but do you know what you can do? That's the problem. It ain't me. Because I've been doing this for a while. I got over a thousand blogs. Some by myself, 
Some with Showtime SP, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I could ramble like a ramble. I can handle my handle. I could do it with him or I could do it on my own. It don't matter, like, the setup. Like, I, I love my, my, my guy, you know what I'm saying? But trust and believe. I could carry the game on my sleeve when it need be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could do... I could break this shit down the way it needs to be done. But anyway, this is, if this is what you're going to be doing, if this is what you're going to be doing, we're going to be rocking with it. But the problem was, like I said, you was taking a lot of battles that niggas know you really ain't care about. You wanted B-Dot. You called out B-Dot. When you originally got B-Dot, niggas was looking at that battle like, what the fuck is he getting B-Dot for? Yes, I was one of them too. I was like, yo, what are you going to do against B-Dot besides lose? But now you have people that actually feel like you won the battle. That should be what you should be proud of. Capture that, you know? Um, I remember I had a conversation with Verb. And he told me one day, battle rap has two sides of the street. The side of the street where all the artists are, the people who are popular in battle rap culture, the people who are known, and the other side is the fans and the people who, you know, rock with battle rap shit like that. You will never be able to change everyone's opinion on the other side of the street about you. So you have to supply and demand for the people who rock with you, the people who like what you got going on. Everybody else is just that, everybody else. There's people who tell me all the time, Yo, I hate this shit, I never watch it. Yo, you'll never do 10,000 views in a video. I do 10,000 views in damn near every video. I have people tell me everything. But the thing is, you are only what you listen to and what you respond to. That's what you are. You know how many people love to do the numbers that happen? They would love to. You know how many people love to be in Shotgun Sugar in your position? To be able to battle rap and support and feed their family and have merchandise and shit like that? People would love to do it. But you have to cater to the people that fuck with you. B-Dot did phenomenal. There are going to be a lot of people who feel like B-Dot won that battle, you know? But that should not take nothing away from what you did. You won a fan vote. Shotgun Shug has never won no fan vote. Shotgun Shug's record on the app is 3 and fucking 12. 3 and 12! <laughs> you like the Detroit Pistons on the app. Your record is not good. But you had enough yesterday to make people feel like this is a version of Shotgun Shug that we want to see. Bottle that up. Take that into the next performance. Build off of that. Continue to grow. You got it in you, but it's just a thing about bringing it out every time you battle. That's the problem. We don't know who we gonna get. Some battles we may get the one that we got today versus B-Dot. Then other ones we get, you heard me, I ain't got no motherfucking slogan. Jersey, a minute and a half into your goddamn round. And we like, what is this shit about? So just focus on what you need to focus on. And I think that, and I feel like, and I feel like you want to something. I feel like while many people thought you was going to die, 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 die. I don't think, that I had you getting 30? I don't know if I had you getting 30. I might have had you getting 21. But even if I did have you getting 30, most people did. You didn't, to me. And that's the most important point. Um, you know, keep doing your thing. You, you lost weight. You moving along, you 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 moving how you moving and grooving how you grooving, and that's what's up. Overall, URL super fight, phenomenal card. Um, nobody, no chokes. Everybody came to rap. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas was in their bag. Uh, it was a quick event. You know, shit went pretty well, and, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like these, this is what you watch battle rap for. I have, we recapped every single battle. The Real Sick versus uh, Mike P is going to be a battle that's going to get broken down talk about a lot. Uh, you had Rum Nitty versus Holmesy the Guy. Holmesy the Guy did his motherfucking thing too. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people who say Holmesy the Guy won the battle. This is what you need. Everything else is relevant. Holmesy, you too. Come on in here and get some of this too. What you did was enough for people to be like, yo, I see why he's here. I see what he's doing. Just build off of that. Just build off the positivity. The negativity is going to be there too, but you got to build off of the positivity. At the end of the day, more people love you than hate you. Motherfuckers is going to hate you. Trust that. <laughs> Ain't nobody exempt. Motherfuckers hate me every day, but guess what? It's the people that love me that keep it above for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to keep building off of that. Um... A lot of battle rap shit going on. You got motherfucking um, Kings vs. Queens tonight. Uh, we'll see about recaps, but like I said, don't press me for them because I'm, I'm about to walk out the door and go to work now. Um, they're actually doing both. Uh, you had um, Sirius Jones get announced versus uh, Big K. That, that's for y'all. I, I really don't I don't even care about that. I'm not, it is what it is. I'm not excited. But, um, you know, the rest of the card is dope, and we're going to keep it moving. Other than that, I'm going.